then you start getting all of the um, the salts that come back up. It's sodium chloride, calcium chloride, all the salts that are associated with seawater, but this is really concentrated seawater. And you get the radioactive metals coming back. John Jack is the Appalachian Region Vice President of Development for Green Hunter Water, a disposal well, brine trucking, and water recycling company with operations in southeastern Ohio. We operate seven disposal wells in West Virginia and Ohio. These underground wells are classified by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency as Class II injection wells, designated for oil and gas wastewater. Underground, they look similar to hydraulic fracturing wells, and in fact, many of them are repurposed oil and gas wells. And beneath the layers of steel and cement is a steel and rubber device called a packer, which provides an airtight seal preventing any fluids from rising back to the surface. The brine water is then pumped into a sandstone layer with impermeable rock forming a barrier to prevent leakage to other layers. And what happens below ground is monitored by a pressure gauge above. We should be concerned about them because a lot of them are pretty old. And there is a track record of leaks at these facilities. But the track record of injection wells is yet another point of contention. We have injected nearly 300 million barrels, and yet we have not identified a single public or domestic water supply that has been contaminated by the subsurface injection of those waste and the return of that waste back to surface. 